Alright, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how we can create this nice tick box um, to add to our, our page for our benefits. So let's go ahead and do that. So what we're going to do is let's go ahead and create a new composition. This new composition and we'll make this one about let's say about 200 by 200 and we'll call this one tick box and hit OK. And actually we'll make this composition setting, go to composition settings and make it about make it about 30 seconds just so that it runs for the full amount of time that we want it to be, uh, be going for. So let's go ahead and first of all create a circle. Click on the circle tool. Make sure that the fill is off. So to do that again click on fill text and click on none so that there's no fill text. Um, and the stroke bring it up to about 13 and then click and hold down shift and we'll create a nice looking circle. Something like that. And I'll position that in the middle. Um, okay, cool. So call this one circle. And then what we want to do is add an effect called a radial wipe. So type in radial wipe in your effects and presets panel. And then drop radial wipe onto your circle. Now make sure that your um, the start or the wipe center is in the middle of your circle. So this one is. So you can if it's not, just click on there and place it in the middle. And then what you want to do is make sure that your timeline indicator is at zero seconds. And bring up transition completion to 100% and click on the stopwatch and then bring it up to about maybe let's have a look just before one second so maybe at about 20 frames and bring it down to zero so now you'll be able to see if we play this through we have a nice circle animation where the lines going around okay cool so that's our first one now what we need to do is create the tick so to do that we need to create a mask on the tick so what we can do is First of all, just get a pick, uh, pen tool and let's draw out the circle what we think it's going to look like, something about something like that. Okay. Then bring the stroke down to zero. And then what we need to do is with the ten, pen tool selected and also the shape layer selected, click on this button here. It's tool. It creates mask. So tool create mask. And then what you want to do is kind of now you need to draw out the tick again, um, and we're going to add an animation on this uh, mask. So this first one that we drew out, this one here doesn't actually matter, it doesn't do anything for us, but we just needed to create the mask on top of it. So we'll create that mask, looks something like that. Then come over to effects and presets and type in stroke. Come down and you want to get the generate stroke one and drop that onto our shape layer one. So our tick layer. I'm going to name this tick as well. Okay, cool. So bring up this brush size, maybe something like 13 or maybe even actually something less than that. Let's bring it up to about maybe about 8.2 something around there and then what we want to do is I'm going to hit M, M for mask so that we bring out this mask one over here and I'll get the pen tool so that I can kind of um, play around with that. Actually I'm going to bring the, bring the brush down to zero so I can see the mask first of all. Okay so now what I want to do is get the convert vertex tool and I want to kind of bend it around so it looks a bit nicer so give it some bend click and drag bring, bend it up and bring it around a little bit more. So kind of play around with that till you get it looking quite nice. And that was quite good to me. Okay, so bring the brush size up again to about 8.2 um, or whatever looks good for you. Okay, so that's not too bad. We'll go, we'll go with that. We'll run with that. It looks quite good. You can again play around with it, make sure it looks good. Um, then what we need to do is add the animation. So once the circle kind of comes to an end about there. Um, or maybe just before it ends we can even start the animation. So what you want to do is um, whoops, bring the end down to 0%. Make sure that start and end are both on zero, 0. And then what you want to do is click on start and bring it up again to maybe um, let's have a look so we can see the seconds a bit better. So maybe just before 2 about there and bring it to 100%. So now you'll be able to see that we've got this nice looking animation. Okay, cool. So if you want to see the keyframes that you've created, you can hit U for umbrella, so U on your keyboard, and they'll bring up the keyframes. So you can adjust them, maybe make them a little bit less because it's quite slow, that one. Okay, it's quite good still. Maybe a little bit more. Okay, that's good. So now we can make them all the same color. So I'm going to get the color and make that same color as this outline as well. And click OK. And actually, we're going to make these ones white. Let's go and grab, make those ones white just like on the video and the tick will bring it up to white as well. Ok 
Okay, cool. Maybe the brush size up a little bit more. Let's make it Let's see what nine looks like. Okay, we'll go with nine. So let's have a look at this. So now what we can do is drop these into um, scene two. So after this one comes down, what we want to do is add in our character and also the tick boxes. So um, tick box here. Drop this one in here. Um, over there. There we are. Looks quite good. And um, we'll go ahead in the next video. We're going to go ahead and rearrange those, and we'll add in the character and things like that. So jump on to the next video, so this video doesn't go too long, and I uh, will add in some extra the character and the tick boxes.